Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a really quick overview of my smoke and gas detector ball I made. Hey guys, welcome back. This is just a really quick overview of my smoke gas detector hand grenade of sorts that I made. We'll do a full video in the future on how to build this, but I thought I'd just share quickly what we've made. So what I did is I took the MQ-2 LPG liquefied petroleum gas sensor as well as CO carbon monoxide and smoke. And I integrated it with an Arduino Nano, which is one of these right here and added the PowerBoost 500 from Adafruit with a LiPo battery and a 433 megahertz transmitter, which is one of these. And these are amplitude shift keyed, so we can send an AM transmission with these. But fortunately enough, this actually works just fine on FM too. So I used the Arduino Talkie library and we send the gas readings out via the 433 transmitter to a remote receiver which you can use like one of these handy talkies here this is i've tested so far uh, up to nearly a block away uh, works really really well and we'll do some range testing and do some extensive tear down and stuff in a future video but i just thought i'd quickly show you so this thing is live right now and this is just the antenna laying out in the open here let's see if we can get it So we're measuring the three gas levels, no problem. Let's go ahead and we're going to add some gas. Perfect. It works perfectly. I can't believe how well this works. I haven't even calibrated the sensor yet, so it's actually on the bottom end of sensitivity right now. But basically, an, a first responder or an emergency worker can just take this ball and chuck it into a building or an unknown area and receive on any basic scanner or handy talkie. You can buy these under 50 bucks for this one, and you can buy even cheaper versions under $30. No problem, that'll receive these frequencies. That's about the extent of it, guys. I'll do a, a future video on how to build this and share the code with you in case you decide to build something like this. I really think it could be handy out there in the world, and I've never seen a commercial unit like it. I've done a lot of work in confined space and emergency response, and I've never seen anything that could be replicated so cheap and easy, uh, just to give you an indication of what's going on in there. Guys, if you like this video, please consider a thumbs up below. It really helps out the channel. Good luck in all your electronics ventures and look forward to a future video on this. Thanks for watching.